All right, this is all signed singles. We're gonna use the androgynous deck. Ooh, magician in the split. Okay. All right, and a lot of you might be walking away from something. Okay. All right. Oh, that's the feeling of spring, wanting to kind of uh, explore. So that may, um, hmm. Well, depending on the sign, but uh, you want to stay in your honor and integrity, right, as much as you can. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so then we'll do like, um, what is this? Like unsaid sentiments or secret message, non-physical message. Okay. All right, so there are some planetary changes now. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Aries. Okay, you look great today. Okay, so it's someone that's keeping tabs on you. My heart skips a beat when I see you. Okay, now... feel like this could be a someone with Aries or Libra or Aquarius or Leo I'm picking up energy okay now and even Capricorn but what I get is is some kind of like this could even be like remote viewing energy I'm picking up. Okay. So they, but this might be like someone who keeps an eye on you on the internet. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what, what the cards say. Okay, so there was something that felt unsatisfactory. And it didn't come together. And it was because too much mind stuff and not enough heart. Okay. So there is a potential to um, streamline whatever this uh, scattered energy was. And to bring in wish fulfillment. Okay. So that's the message. Woohoo! Okay. All right. So there's still passion there. <laughs> I almost said passion in the pants. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of been kind of picking up some uh, funny messages this morning before I even started. So. <laughs> okay, all right. So here, yeah. Okay, so for some of you, it might be an earth sign. Okay. But it's somebody who wants to build uh, Cap Capricorn, Virgo, I almost said Pisces, but um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Someone wants to build with you and bring in this kind of wish fulfillment, this dreamy energy to reality. Okay. Woo! Okay. Now, I feel like this is a Neptune energy. There's been a lot of dreaming on both sides. Okay. Of course, I'm nosy. And they're battling it out in the mind. Okay. And, uh, but it's like, should I try... To send a message. Okay. Now this is... Okay. So what I'm getting is there will be success in numbers. Like um, double dating or like group meeting with groups and stuff like that. And building a relationship that way. Now here's like tents and stuff. So that could be like concerts, celebrations, um camping okay but always pay attention to the elements people people get all these ideas to do these things out in the elements you gotta have all those safety measures and things in order and then see and then here is the four of wands any kind of gathering celebrations get together all right so now let's woo oh my goodness all right so that's the potential let's get spark of uh, connection. Let's see what this says. Yeah, there. Whoever on both sides, there's been like a, a call for romance. That's what I'm getting. Lend your skills and talents to your community. 
Consider how you could act as a mentor to someone else. Be available when your loved ones need to listen, uh, need a listening ear. Set, set up a coffee date with a new acquaintance. Let's get more. All right. Offer to pick up mail or whatever plants. Ooh, that came out again. I thought that was a little bit creepy, but here it is again. <laughs> If someone asks, that's the thing, right? Then then uh, maybe say yes. Offer to pick up mail or water plants when neighbors out of town. Okay, but could be out just outside watering plants, right? Okay, so share a good laugh or a good cry with someone close. Commit with a friend to learning a new skill together. And this was a big one. Okay, it was lighting up before. Okay. All right, and I'll leave you with that. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to go to Taurus. Now, Taurus, what I'm getting with you is goddess on the mountain top. <laughs> what is that? Venus. Something like Venus. I'm your fire. I'm... Okay, so some of that fire from Aries might be coming into this Taurus reading, but that's what I'm getting. Got us on the mountaintop. Mountains are usually like uh, Capricorn, right? So, but that might be you in the frisky uh, climb in the mountain to get to your person. Okay. All right. So, of course, it might be another earth sign. But what I feel like is someone that's earthy with water might be a great match because they would be into building something stable. Okay, that's a song. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Woo! Okay, what's this? Your kisses make my heart beat faster. Uh, being with you makes everything better. Okay, and I feel like that's what you're saying, your energy. Okay. Could be vice versa. I'm so glad I found you. And I feel like that's the other person. Okay. Okay, so they, they love your sense of humor. Even if it might be a little dry for someone. Okay. I love the way you make me laugh. Ooh, two laughing cards. Okay, have fun and be playful. Okay, every day you manage to take my breath away. Take my breath away. La, 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 la. Can't wait to be in your arms. Okay, so it's like they can't wait till the next date. I love every minute we are together. Woo! Okay. All right, now let's see what Tarot says. Okay, you've been paying attention to each other on the internet, maybe. Okay, and starting off with a small, uh, compassionate gesture or um, kindness. Okay. Through sending loving, endearing messages through the internet. And then uh, here is BAM. That's, <laughs> here is BAM. Taking it up a way. That's like going from zero to 60. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all right. So, I feel like that represents your energy. You're pa feeling passionate again. Okay. All right, so you got the celebrations card too, I feel like here. Yeah, and so King of Wands. Okay, so balancing out your passion with your um, emotions here. Okay. Like feeling good enough to get out. That's what these two are. Balancing your emotions in fire to be feel good enough to go out. And then that would bring, like be able to build on this connection all right a tempering the past is what I'm getting here is kind of releasing and surrendering the past and moving this way okay all right and then taking time to de-stress and decompress okay yeah, and then so it's like moving from, you may start out as kind of like this Knight of Cups, but moving into more solid uh, connection, being able to offer more uh, than you were previously. Okay, and then from that energy, 
For some of you, this is going away from a fire sign, like a Leo I'm getting, and then moving towards um, a water sign, or someone who has emotional intelligence is more emotionally connected feeling to you. That's what I'm getting. Okay, now for some of you, it might be a government job or through religious connection or spiritual connection. Woo! For some of you, it's through the internet and through some sort of artistic endeavor. This could be startups, anything like that. Okay. All right, and then what? Woo! Okay, so building on that. So this is a balance of the earth and water. This is nice. This is like watering your garden of love. Woo! Okay. All right, so that Venus, okay, is transiting through um, um, Taurus this month. So take advantage of that. Okay. Woo! Oh my gosh, how did that happen? How does that happen, right? It's like I put my hand in here and they kind of guide it and then I pull it and then it was, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm getting. Now with you, if you're a, a leader, you want to find time, create space for love and be flexible with your schedule and don't go long periods in between where you're not connecting keep sending messages okay loving messages throughout loving passionate messages throughout okay if you're a ceo okay now yeah so okay so that i feel like you're benefiting now, this would be a really good time to start dating if you're interested, even if you're not interested, just friendship stuff where you're just connecting. Ooh, I love this. This is so nice. Okay, feels good. Okay, let's get a spark of connection then for you. Let's see what, what I get. Connect with a friend to learning new skill together. Okay, Aries got that, and I shook it up. Shop at a farmer's market. <laughs> That's like a lover's hangout, seems like, for <laughs> this channel. <laughs> Let a mutual goal with a friend. Set a mutual goal with a friend. Be each other's accountability partner. Ooh, I like that. Okay. One more. Consider how you could act as um, a mentor to someone else. Okay. So, anyway. Okay. So, be someone's cheerleader. Okay. Oop. I'm getting that cheerleader song. Okay. And I'll be a cheerleader. Okay, so anyway. All right, Taurus, that is your reading. Okay, now here we go. All right, now we're on Gemini. Okay. So Mars is moving into Cancer, so you may not feel as feisty as you did before. Okay, you might feel more peaceful and serene and wanting to keep peace okay all right but um keep doing things that will energize your body that's what i'm getting and you'll still reap the benefits of it even if the transit's going to um what did i say cancer okay all right let's see all right so I feel like that's the effect of the past with Mars in uh, your chart. If your emotions it felt challenging last month, February, um, and your emotions dropped, then that could have affected other things in your life. Okay, so we're going to release the past. That came up in Taurus reading, too. So that could have been, you could have been... in. Maybe you are dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus, I'm getting, or someone, okay, or that kind of, someone who was trying to balance their energy. Okay, now, here's Queen of Cups. You can move this way. You got to get out of the past into uh, planting your seeds and moving in. The feeling of love for yourself, 
that's what I'm getting and building on your um, how you feel about yourself like when you look in the mirror and how what you do to take care of yourself and nurture yourself and that's going to have this positive magician where the outcomes are going to be the highest and the best Woo! okay so justice will prevail okay Gemini, if things haven't been all that, uh, feeling like they're all that fair. Yeah, positive communication is the key. It's like, uh, sometimes it's not the positive words that come out. Sometimes it's something other than, and then because those things are said, then there's a raising of the energy. So if you feel, feel any kind of guilt... You want to release yourself from that. And so that, uh, okay, now what I'm getting here is, for some of you, might this might even be feeling like you can't communicate how you feel inadequate in the bedroom, okay, or um, just work stuff and everything, the load and everything is feeling like, um, you just can't give to anything else. And then that's calling for you to rest. And then just communicate your compassion and love for whoever it is and let them know in on it. And then this will be uh, more positive. It's like balancing out uh, romance, love, and all marriage for some of you. Okay someone's married that's here okay and um all right so and then that will bring you into the wish, <laughs> wish fulfillment but look she looks kind of mad <laughs> okay all right so get ready though because these wonderful times are coming in and you want to uh kind of cue yourself up to playing ball in this game of life Okay, like, okay, golf terms might be hole-in-one. <laughs> okay. All right, so, um, and by recharging your bo body, you won't be over um, the love thing. Okay, now for some of you, you're separated and you sleep in separate bedrooms. Okay, but in the springtime, I feel like uh, there could be a change now, if you have a son or a child, connect with them, and that somehow is going to change it, okay? But in the springtime, I feel like you'll be more frisky, okay? I'm getting like dancing at the maypoles. <laughs> okay, and here's Eight of Pentacles. Now, work's got your attention, but always create space for that time if you have children or a partner or a lover or... Your pets, even, sometimes they get pushed to the side, don't they? What is this? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Now, for some of you, you your work hasn't been all that uplifting. And you want to feel inspired again about it. So, get quiet. Okay. And uh, get quiet. And then the inspiration will come. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, from three pinnacles to the empress. Okay, and so this could be body image too, right? Looking at your own body image. Okay, that's coming up. Okay, and then here is emperor. Oh my gosh, that's a match. All right. Yeah, so I got like a Gemini with... A Taurus or a Scorpio, that kind of energy. Okay, so I feel like if you're married and you're here, there will be the improvement here. Get So kind of spruce yourself up. That's what I'm getting. How do they feel about you? Let's see. Right now. I fall for you over again every day. Okay, so every day is a new day, right? And sometimes women or men can carry things over. You just have to take your focus off of that. 
Okay, and then um, just try to find ways to bring in romance. That's what I'm getting for someone who's married. Yeah, see, they need you. Try some new things. You make my day. Every day with you is another adventure. So, see, that's what I'm getting. Okay, and I'll leave you with that. For those of you who are single are moving towards this connection. Empress and the Emperor. That's a, a balance. That's balanced. Okay, so if you were seeking a balanced relationship, there it is for you. That's what they said. Okay, beautiful. Just be ready. All right, now we're on Cancer. How far are we along on this? Did we start a new video already? Oh, we're in a new video, I think. Maybe we're on the, um, maybe we're at the end. Okay, I have time for one more, maybe. Okay. Okay. These cards are a little bit hard to shuffle. So I have to split it up. Then, that's like Gemini energy right there. <laughs> okay, and then I'll do it one more time. All right, Cancer. Woo! Okay. Four of Wands, Six of Cups. Okay, so this is like rejuvenating and... In, uh, okay, so... It's like rejuvenation. That's what I got. Rejuvenation. Okay. Now, if you've been working on building something, there's this potential to bring it in a new phase. Okay. And you're going to be recognized for the work and energy you put into something. Okay. And um, whoever this past person is, um, yeah. They're still passionate about you, okay? And um, there may have been some times where you had some encounters there, but okay, let's see what that is trying to come out. Yeah, see, and they were in their head a lot about you, and so were you about them. That's ending. Woo, moving in clarity and truth. Okay. Okay, the key is movement. This card is like taking the first steps and uh, having faith, even if it's like the even if the fear of rejection, which I'm getting as Leo energy here, may be there. So it's like feeling the fear and doing it anyway. They might be doing that. Okay, at any rate, you've got two aces. Now, where's the love? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, someone can't let go. <laughs> okay, so if Capricorn is showing up here, that means you could have been dipping in your polar opposite sign where you were just trying to gain footing and balance. Okay, and that could have been the reason why if you had any kind of heartache or heartbreak, that could have been the reason why the outcome didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Okay. But here's your chance. I don't know why I'm getting that song. Here's a chance. Uh, here's your chance, Fancy. And uh, never let it down. It's a country song. It's a country, here's a, it's a Reba McIntyre, Reba, is, it's her famous song, here's a, something uh, fancy and uh, never let me down, or what is that? <laughs> I put Depeche Mode in there. <laughs> here's your one chance fancy, don't let me down. Okay, so there's a mother and a daughter scenario. Okay, so this could be someone you had a child with. Now, 
Now, if that's in the subconscious, though, that could be like feeling like if you're the abundant person with all the money, then you could feel like the uh, one you were with and had a child with was trying to get stuff. Okay, now let's see what that is. Oh, this card's trying to come out. Okay, so they're this positive force, but it's like that reading I just did. Maybe looking for things when things weren't really, uh, it was just two energies that weren't taking the time to take care of their own energy and then, uh, and that was like trying to in persevere through it all. Yeah, feeling like you can't. That was the past subconscious. But there is a, a return here. Okay, so in the head, action, no action. That was what I was getting in the head. Should I, should I not, should I? It was like back and forth. But here's your one chance again coming in. Okay, that's another line. Here's her one chance. And this one's going, don't let me down. I'm coming back. I don't want to be solo. I'm over it. I Okay, so this could be like uh, not moving energy. So that could be Pisces or Virgo maybe or someone harnessing that energy. All right, and then here is the emperor. That's how they see you. I feel like that's how they see you, Cancer. Okay. Now, if you had a fear, that could have been you didn't go towards them because you thought they were after your material stuff. Okay. And, but it was just, that was causing you to not move. Okay, so then what? Okay, for some of you, it might be um, earth or air or air. They could have been using this uh, Aquarian energy to uh, show you cool exterior, and that could have been a turnoff. Okay. Woo! Okay, but they've been dreaming both sides. Okay, and if, if you're like, no, I wasn't dreaming about them, then that this isn't your story. Okay, so four pinnacles. Yeah. That surrendering energy is what's going to let it flow in. Yeah. Flow, balance. And this one wanted to travel with you places, but I don't think you let them, um, you weren't including them. Okay, so then they got in their polar opposite energy, maybe. Pisces. Or they were keeping tabs on you on the internet because you weren't including them. Okay, and so they they were like, okay, closing the computer. I'm finally st uh, stop. I want... Uh, okay. I, okay, thank you. Okay, so it's like, I want you in my life. I don't want to be on the internet looking about you when I want to be with you. Okay. That's what they said. Okay. They don't want anybody else. I was doing it again, not showing the cards. I was doing the reading. <laughs> okay. They want to come back to you. That's the message. All right. Now let's get a, one of these here. I love trying new things with you. They want to try new things with you. They know you're their soulmate. And they can't stop thinking about you, even now. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Okay, let's see. We are on. Woo, I'm going to stop the video.